couldn't figure out what that whistling was. And, uh, it's, that window was cracked. <laughs> we don't need to listen to that. Oh, God. Yeah, this is going to be a three-point turn. Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez. So... I'm running a little late on lunch from what I usually do, and for good reason. This job is over by a um, Wendy's. Something that I had brought to my attention because I didn't pay any attention. <laughs> I don't usually go to Wendy's. Uh, they're not bad or anything. I, I like them good enough. I just, uh, I don't usually go to Wendy's because there aren't any close to the house. And, uh, it's just not convenient, you know? But Wendy's are actually pretty good. But, everybody told me on, uh, messaging there that, uh, that sent me a thing a link and I'll, I'm looking at them like, oh yeah that does look good you gotta go try that yeah I gotta go try that but I thought why not a lot of you guys watch this stuff you see in America you know <coughs> why not check out the burger tell you how it is and uh, tell you how it is and kind of give you the American fast food drive through experience right <laughs> let's go check that out because of you. <laughs> if you like cake. That's my favorite, uh, one of my favorite songs, but my favorite song by them is called The Distance. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. She's all alone, all alone, all alone in her time of need. This uh, girl in front of me is driving a Kia Sportage, and she is so wrapped up in her phone. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Rewards. Scan the code, download the app, earn free food. No. <laughs> How do you put pickles and bacon on the same hamburger? I hope you guys aren't disappointed in me. I do not like pickles. I will not be having pickles on my... Pretzel Bacon Pub Burger. So I'll say this too. Uh, if you kind of get an idea for this, we are six minutes, seven minutes, 6.58.59. We're seven minutes into uh, starting the thing down the street and pulling in. I'm five minutes here probably, so... Uh, you might be thinking fast food is a bit of a misnomer, but uh, 
this is a lot faster than a sit down restaurant. Let's check this out. Hi, Lord, you got it? Yeah, I would like to get the uh, pretzel bacon pub burger. Can I get that with no pickles? Okay. And uh, I guess the combo, so fries and a Dr. Pepper. Do I a large? A medium, please. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it today. All right. Thank you. Ten dollars and seventy-eight cents at the first one. Hi, How's your day going? Whoops. There we go. Have a good day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. So something there, somehow they had a hang up. That's why it took so long. Usually you're two minutes through there. Oops. Let's go ahead and pull in here. Oh, where's the shade tree? Shade tree. Just kiss that curb with that tire. Oh, I don't know why I put that back on. And it's nice enough out. I don't have to have the air running. So, uh, way more soda pop than you probably need on a medium. Mm. Something I don't do is straws. And, uh, there's no real good reason for it. I think you go through the drink a little too fast. Right. Napkins, you gotta have napkins. French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. You got some them French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. I reckon I have me some them French fried potatoes. French fried taters come in a neat little thing, right? All packaged up. These are a little limp. They still taste good. A lot of salt. I prefer them with more salt. So, mm. so here's the burger. Los hamburguesas. Hopefully they actually didn't put the pickles like I asked. I, I kind of got the impression she didn't. Because she didn't really confirm that, did she? Okay. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite what you see in the advertisements, is it? Oh, man. Those are fried onions. Look at all them slices of bacon. And she did. She got it. She nailed it. What kind of cheese is that? That looks like a smoked uh, gouda or something. <laughs> oh. What kind of sauce is that? It's good. It's really good. It's um just about perfectly balanced. 
there isn't one thing in there that's jumping up and saying, hey, I'm, I'm the thing here. That's good. That's stupid good. I spend about four or five dollars on lunch just about every day. Maybe once or twice a week I'll go a little bit more. This is well worth the do you know to have that Friday kind of oh boy. That is good. The pretzel bun, that smoked cheese, that's gotta be gouda. It's definitely good. Huh? <laughs> it's good. Uh, it's balanced with the bacon and the the meat of the hamburger. It's just oh, it's so good. They say you don't want to do this every day. It's too expensive and you get fat. But good lord. Yeah, you don't want to do this every day. It's a bit pricey, but uh, that cheese that's on there that, that's that got to be a slice of gouda that's what it tastes like I'll tell you something that is not something you get on a fast food burger that's, that's kind of pricey cheese it's part of the reason it's 10 bucks but That is so good. Yeah, there's not one thing in there that's overpowering the rest of it. it it's just a good balance of bacon and hamburger and the pretzel thing kind of actually plays a big part. It's a big deal. That pretzel bun thing, Paul, you throw a comment down there and let us all know. Is that something they do over there? God, I got to go to England. I don't know if I can, I don't know. Man, if they're doing this kind of stuff regular. I thought that pretzel bun thing would be kind of tough, you know. It's not. I'll tell you what else I was wrong about. It is a bit warm out to just. <laughs> mm. Good lord, that's just delicious. I'll tell you what that really needs. I'll tell you what that really needs that would just set that off is a stout or a. Uh, I don't think I'd go so far as Guinness. Yeah, I would. I, I, yeah, I'll say it. A stout. You put some Guinness in with this or an Amber Bach. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I might do that again next week. The fried onions are good, too. I think that's what that is. Oh, yeah. So part of the uh, drive-through experience, part of the drive-through experience, is the art of eating in the car without getting food all over the place. A little bit of that gets in between the seats or something, and you can't get it out all the time. And I don't care how good you are after 10 years plus, you go in this thing and there's there's a French fry. I promise you, there's a French fry in there. <laughs> And I do, I pull the seat up and, and as far out as I can, I vacuum that every year or two where I do a really deep clean inside the cab of the truck. Mm. I'm not a big fan. Oh, it's just so good. That is so good. I'm not a big fan of eating in my personal vehicles because I, I like my cars to be clean. 
I'm a lot more careful in my cars. I'm still really careful in the truck. I dropped something right there, but it fell on the paper because I'm basically, I'm eating over the paper. You know, that's kind of a thing you gotta do. That was good. That was amazingly good. That smoked cheese just, man, sets that whole thing off. The smoked cheese and the pretzel. Just sets it off. That is the best hamburger I've had in a long time. And I'm going to put that against me cooking a hamburger at home, too. I'm dead serious. With all the smoking and grilling I do, the hamburgers that we make at home come out really good. Mama seasons some pretty good too. Mm. Well, uh, I'm gonna give that an eight out of ten stars. Probably give my hamburgers a seven and a half. <laughs> that was oh, that was good. The fries are the right kind of salty too. I'll be honest, I don't ever eat all the fries because I'm heavy enough. I feel better about myself. I leave a little bit behind on that. So there you go. There's the... Uh, there's the bacon pub burger. That was phenomenal. I, I would really, if you can get that, you gotta go get that. Oh, jeez. You gotta go get one of those. At least try it. I personally don't do pickles. I think they ruin everything. I don't even want the damn things to touch the... I don't, you know, I don't want to pull them off. And Dad used to tell him, no, you can just order the hamburger the right way. I'm not gonna sit here and wait for them to make it. Well, two things about that and, and I, you know as a kid it was kind of you had to go along with that because that's what dad said but uh, if you pull into a fast food place they got what's called heat lamps they'll make you know so many hamburgers an hour they know they're going to sell 20 hamburgers in this hour of the day so they'll have 15 of them sitting up there in the heat lamp and they're just replenishing those as they're doing the stuff that is the one offs McDonald's makes Big Macs and sells them like me and you breathe there. You buy a Big Mac, you probably sat under a heat lamp for a little bit. You know, it's not the most fresh thing that you could. And fresh, I mean, what's fresh? Everything at McDonald's made out of flavored cardboard, but uh, they didn't just put it together. But if you ask for it without something on there, like pickles. <laughs> They have to make that because that ain't sitting up there right so i know this didn't sit there even though this is looked it i could be wrong but they look busier than i think i've ever seen them and uh, i think this has probably got something to do with it anyway uh i don't even want to taste the the touch of a pickle on my food i can't stand it it just think is something horrendously repugnant to you flavor wise and that's pickles for me so anyway oh I got the burps now anyway god that was good if you're somewhere where you can get one of those go try that out man I ain't like everything else here I'm just telling you what I like or what looks cool I Wendy's ain't giving me nothing <laughs> they gave me a good burger right now but I paid for it so oh I tell you another thing about the drive-thru, uh, and it's come to be more of a thing for me because uh, I don't want to wear a mask. I mean, I have them. Customers demand them. I have them. But uh, the drive through is great because I'm sitting in the car by myself. I don't have to put up with that mask garbage. So I'm really happy about that. I don't, I don't want to wear a mask. Uh, I spend all my lunch breaks in the truck, whether I pack a lunch or buy a lunch, uh, I'm in the truck. So, there you go. Basic American drive-through, uh, a 
fantastic hamburger that I highly recommend, and I will probably be getting another one. Matter of fact, this weekend I'm going to get three of them because I'll probably load the boys up. Oh, come on, let's go. <laughs> They're that good. Amazing. I don't know what that sauce was, but it was just perfect balance. You guys have a good one. I'm going to sit here and look a few things up online. I got stuff I'm doing in the off time, that, and now I. I get a half hour lunch, so you know I've got about 10, 15 more minutes. I'm gonna look up a few things and make some progress on my little personal projects. And uh, then I'm gonna go on to the next job and get going. If you get one of those, get it. Oh, it's so good. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.